Angela. Angela. Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. Well, Nicki Minaj's brother, Jelani Mirage, his uh, child rape case, they have more information. He was offered a plea deal after his DNA matched semen found on the alleged victim's clothing, but he did refuse to take that plea deal, so they have filed several motions to try to throw out that top charge. And they also want to suppress evidence found at his house, and they want to reveal the sexual history of the 12-year-old girl who he allegedly sexually assaulted. Now, according to Jelani Mirage's lawyer, David Schwartz, he said, we believe the truth will come out. The complaining witness in the case and others have a real motive in this case to lie. This never occurred, and Jelani is completely innocent. As far as wanting to know about the girl's sex life, they said the bottom line is we believe we will have a full defense of any medical evidence in this case of a sexual nature. Listen, all I know is that is just reminding me to tell y'all, don't let anything distract you from the fact that Nicki Minaj got bodied over the Ether Instrumental, got hit with another one, and has yet to respond. All right. Okay. Mm. okay. Now, in the meantime, there is a sex tape that may be coming out in its entirety soon. There's some snippets now and some pictures. And that sex tape features Rick Ross's ex fiance Lyra Galore. Now, this was posted on Famulus. They're saying at first that it was Lyra Galore with Lance Stevenson, but now they're saying that Lyra Galore's sex tape is with a different person and that there are two sex tapes with Lance Stevenson with different women. So I don't know what's going on, but Lyra Galore responded via Twitter. She said, y'all never seen nobody SD before? Hey, what's SD? Everybody let's Suck. relax. Oh. Perform fellatio. Mm. Is, what is she, she naked said. on it? Yes. I wouldn't mind seeing that. You want to see the pictures? Yes, I would like to, actually. All right, I got you. Shout out to Famous, too. They get everything new. I don't get Charlotte blood get flowing this morning. What you got for me? <laughs> All right, Too Short is the suspect in a rape case. Now, there is a victim. And I actually had seen this story quite some time ago. It's a woman that was signed to him mm -hmm. that is trying to say that he took advantage of her. She was a virgin when she met him. She says on November 1st, she was at an L.A. residence with Too Short when he allegedly sexually attacked her. She told the cops that she's a virgin, and she said that her provocative video should not suggest that she gave any form of consent. So she did go to the cops about a month after the alleged incident. Now, according to Too Short, he's saying he never had any sexual contact with the victim. She was on his record label. He dropped her, and that's when she came up with these allegations. Well, Jesus Christ, you ain't got nothing good. You ain't got nothing late this morning. You got two rapes, a child molestation, and a sex tape. Can All right, here's, I got three good things for you real quick. Okay. Go, Ready? Some go, quick go. Hits. Dave Chappelle, Netflix special. Boom, drop that's on cool. a clues bomb Dave Chappelle. There's a premiere date for that, March 21st. Here's a little sneak peek. I know I've been gone for a very long time. If Martin Luther King had a sneaker deal, we'd still be on the back of the bus. I've met OJ Simpson on four different occasions. It would be like seeing Bigfoot riding a unicorn. I'm black, but I'm also Dave Chappelle. Time for the Care Bear Stare! I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, so we are really looking forward to seeing that. All right, also, Lil Wayne has announced tour dates. He's doing his Closer to You tour. That's Closer with a K, of course. And that's going to kick off April 14th in Louisiana. And that's a 12-city tour, so that's going to be av that's available now if you want to get tickets on Ticketmaster. And Tiana Taylor has launched her online workout series, Fade to Fit. Smart. Drop on the clues bombs for Tiana Taylor, damn it. Very smart. It's a 90-day program. It has a workout calendar, dance routines, tailored meal plans that Tiana Taylor personally selects for you. I thought Tiana said she don't work out, though. She does now. Oh. <laughs> you know. And there you have it. See, now there were some good things. Now, women, we now, ended just, on a high. Just tell the women out there, if if they do this 90-day plan, it's still not going to look like... It's still not going to look like Tiana Taylor. Why not? Maybe you can. Let's be honest. You, get, you might get close. You get close, but not... Listen, the plan is, if that's what she did, that's maybe you can. Don't tell... Why Why are y'all trying to make it negative before they even start? You know what? Yeah, you're right. I mean, if you're they stick right. to the plan, and they you, work out, you're right. stick to the meal plan, they could look like Tiana and Taylor. You know, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Days? In 90 days. It depends on where you start. But it depends on where you start. But right now, we just need to keep in mind mm. to not let any of this distract you from the fact that Nicki Minaj got bodied over the Ethan Instrumental, got hit with another one, and has yet to respond. Okay? The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.